Hey guys, welcome back to Grace Junction Homestead. I want to talk to you for just a second about canning. Specifically about what I do different than some of you maybe, um, and why I do it that way. Uh, it goes back to last summer, <laughs> when everything changed. Um, I found myself one sunny summer day sitting in my kitchen um, where I had been for about four hours. I had two canners running, pressure canners running. I had, let's see, two, four, four other burners going with sauces and brines and things that I was, you know, getting ready to, uh, to use for canning. And um, <laughs> every other part of my kitchen literally had towers of bushel baskets full of produce that needed to be processed. And I was overwhelmed that after four hours of working, I hadn't even made a noticeable dent. I mean, I could have taken a picture of my kitchen before and then at that point, and you probably wouldn't have noticed a difference. Um, <laughs> that's how overwhelmed I was. And, um, and so to escape all that, <laughs> as I sat there waiting and waiting and waiting, um, I hopped on Pinterest. <laughs> Because that's the answer to everything, right? Uh, between that and YouTube, that's that's where I learn everything. Um, and and let me back up for just a second and and tell you that I don't come from farmers. Um, if I do, it's way back there. We're city people. <laughs> we don't we don't homestead in my family. We don't do anything. You know, we cook with a microwave. That's that's what I grew up with. Um, everything from a box, from a freezer, from a can. From in the microwave um, if it wasn't convenient and easy we didn't do it uh, we, we ate a lot of drive-through food <laughs> I, I'm like the purple sheep of my family <laughs> um, yeah so I don't have a grandma or a mom or an auntie who can pass down all the knowledge from from generations past on, on how to do things easier, faster. So that day at my wit's end and overwhelmed, I turned to Pinterest um, to the next best thing to a grandma. I looked up how do Amish people do it? <laughs> uh, all the tips and tricks, you know, things that make life easier in the kitchen. Um, and, and I read a lot. I probably spent a couple hours reading those kind of things but the thing that stuck with me the most and I mean it is really really stuck with me is stop canning like a factory I had been up to that point you know and in, in the last couple years that I've been canning up to that point I had been spending hours peeling and slicing and perfect little slices and and making everything all pretty like you find you know when you open up your can from the grocery store and it all looks exactly the same you know it's all cut to the same size and it's all you know uniform why why it had never occurred to me that that was dumb <laughs> it was okay for me it's pointless because I mean my time matters to me how I spend it matters to me and the amount of stress that I put on myself doing something that I generally love matters to me too <laughs> and when you've got all this around you that you have to deal with and or it's gonna go bad you're gonna lose all your hard work out there in the garden if you don't hurry up and get it done I mean it just it changed everything so so I grabbed a beet and I started just cutting it you know I, I rinsed it you know scrubbed it like you're supposed to but I left the skin on and I didn't cut it in pretty little pieces and then and then once I got those jars full I, I did the same thing with the carrots I left the peels on and I cut them in chunks because I mean you know small enough that it would fit well in a jar but it wasn't uniform and it wasn't pretty and it didn't matter because when we opened it up a few days later <laughs> uh, and tried it it didn't taste any different <laughs> so it, it it just changed my world <laughs> I mean and, and from then on I just started going through all the produce just you know like that 
because it doesn't need to be pretty. It doesn't. It'll still taste the same. It'll still come out the same. Um, I don't do my tomatoes the same either. When I make tomato sauce, oh, I'll tell you what. When I started, I followed the instructions in, in you know, on the YouTube videos and in the canning books and I blanched my tomatoes and I ice bathed them and, and I cored them and I seeded them and I cut them. And I, I have sensitive skin. <laughs> it does not tolerate processing tomatoes for longer than maybe 20 minutes at a time. Um, and if you sat and done that with a large harvest of tomatoes, you'll know how, how long that takes. But um, yeah, so I, oh, I had to go in like rounds because it would just, the, the tomato juice would eat my skin off. And I have, you know, horrible rashes from spending all this time processing all this stuff. And, um, <laughs> I reached a point with those, um, I just throw them in there. I'll cut them in half or cut them in quarters and I throw them in the pot and I simmer them down into a sauce, a chunky sauce. Um, I throw it in the blender, chop it all up all nice and fine, and then run it through a mesh metal strainer. And I'll tell you what. Anything you didn't want in your sauce, your seeds, your skins, all that stuff stays in the strainer and it comes out sauce on the other end and you're good. You're done. That's it. You don't have to peel and you don't have to core and you don't have to de-seed because there are easier ways. Here's a great example. These are peaches and if you look, look, they've still got their skins on. You know why? because you can peel them off later. <laughs> you don't have to blanch them. You don't have to ice bath them. You don't have to peel them. All you have to do is just cut them into the size you want, into the jars, put your stuff in there, process them. When you open the jar, they'll slide right off and you can deal with them then. It saves you hours, literally hours of prep time. And yes, if you try to eat a uh, peach skin that's been <laughs> processed, it's gonna be slimy and not so good, but it slips right off. You know, make yourself a little peach pile at the edge of your plate. That's what I do. And um, it works just fine. They taste the same, seriously. So yeah, I, I do things different. I do things easier. Um, some of you, probably are going to continue to process things the way you've been taught to process them and, and you really like the product that comes out of the grocery store. But for those of you who want to save time and same effort and don't care about breaking the rules <laughs> for something that turns out just as well, stop canning like a factory. Have a blessed day, guys.